This is the Deerfield uh, Conservation Committee meeting for November 21st, 2019. And present are Louis Mission. Bill Mara, PC. Tim Hilchey. Okay, I see we got some new business, but we got some old that I don't think should hopefully be too long. And uh, we have a uh, RDA request for determination on 10 Greenfield Road. And gentlemen, if you'd like to come up, do you have any update or? Have, yeah, did you? Yes, I gave you. Oh yeah, just if time. you could just mention your names again and. Sure. sure. We are. My name's Mark Reed from Heritage Surveys. Uh, Matt Plotkin with Greenfield Road LLC. Uh, Dan Nitchie with GZA. Oh, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, based on our last meeting, uh, the commission had requested that we hire a wetland consultant uh, to take a look at the area. We have. Matthew has engaged GZA and Dan Nitschke to uh, look at the area. Uh, what I just handed to you is a report and letter that he can explain to the commission uh, in detail his findings on okay. the property. Okay. All right. So, you know, obviously the question was one person's calling an intermittent stream. When we did the analysis for the 10 Deerfield site, we said it was not regulated because the ditches out there, the swales out there are maintained as stormwater features. Yeah. And by definition under the stormwater regulations, if it's designed, constructed, and maintained as a stormwater feature, it cannot be regulated as a wetland, okay? That survey that I did for 10 Greenfield was predominantly for the, those swales that you see closer to their parking lot. Yeah. And is in the, the places that they maintain and clearly are connected to the detention basin system and all that. At that same time, we did walk the, the swale along uh, Greenfield Road as well. But so in this particular case, under this circumstance, we went directly to that location. We looked at about a 200 foot stretch directly across the southern entrance from uh, Deer, uh, Yankee Candle. All right, so we picked that section there. Yeah. Because th that's above where they're gonna work, but that's the area that was being identified, and I did see some old flagging there from Mass DOT. Yeah. So when them with them calling it a, an intermittent stream, which is by name and in, in the definition of the regulations, is called a bank. So I go to the definition for bank, and that's that's in your letter there. I, I pull out the definition, so it's very easy. A stream, which is what a bank is going to uh, confine, means a body of running water, including brooks, uh, creeks, so forth and so on, that flow in a defined channel or a definite channel. Well, there's definitely a channel there. There was a swale that was constructed, but there's no running water and my observations followed almost four inches of rain in about a 70 to 72 hour period. That was just two weeks ago that we had those two back-to-back -back storms. And in that middle day, I think we had about maybe a quarter of an inch. So we had a little bit of rain for three days. There was no water anywhere in that swale and no evidence that there's water, that pools or ponds in there uh, in that swale. So if you fall back to the specific definitions and the regulations, that swale, although looking like a channel does not provide uh, a channel for running water. There's no outlet, there's no input to that. There's two head walls that, that are next to the swale that appear to be part of an, the older road system because there's no catch basin attached to it and there's no continuous connection from this swale all the way to the swale on the Yankee Candle side, which is more hydraulically connected to wetlands. That's yeah. wet a lot, yeah, as we know and there's no vegetation in that swale because of that standing water. This swale is loaded with vegetation. There's no evidence of scour or any even leaves been pushed out of the way after that four inch rain event. So given that kind of information, I would say it doesn't qualify as an intermittent stream slash bank resource. I don't think it qualifies as any wetland, quite frankly. It's not a bordering vegetated wetland because there's no stream to border on. It's not an isolated vegetated wetland. It doesn't have all three criteria. Um, so I just went down the list of all the possibilities. Since DOT was calling it a stream, I focused on that. But then I look at the other names, the other resources that are out there to see if one of those might match. And none of them meet, that, meet the criteria or, or their criteria does not match the existing conditions of that site. Yeah. So our answer is it's not regulated. Okay. Well, that, that's why I wanted you guys to, because that, you know, they had marked it as a intermittent stream, you know, Right. We had, you know, 
wanted to give you the, the you know, uh, a chance to, you know, investigate like Dan here did. Right. right. To prove that I blocked it. I blocked it the other, you know, uh, last weekend. Yeah, and I was I parked up by Yankee Candle and looked down, and mm -hmm. I didn't, you know, if there really is anything coming from that driveway right. down, yep. really. I mean, it's a drainage swale. Definitely. I and think what it's designed to be The wetland was, was on the other side and then back of the Yankee Candle uh, little turnoff there. Yep. There is this, you know, and I, everything goes the other way. I think that was swamped, and, and uh, yep. I did talk with Mark, and I told him that, you know, you were supposed to be having an uh, expert come in and, yes. and advise you. And that's what, you know, we're here for to hear. Uh, and I know Dan, you've been yep. here before. Yep. And uh, I did provide this uh, letter to Mark Stenson by email today. Oh, okay. I admit he probably didn't get and it I yet. Co I copied you on the email also. Okay. Because I did so. talk to him earlier there this afternoon. And, okay. Yeah, it was later. He was going time. out the door, so. Oh, he was? Okay. Yeah. So, so he, he does have a copy of this okay. Dan's letter. Without the letter, did Mark provide any other feedback? Uh, no, pretty much it's, you know, we, what we bought. We're waiting for, and, for this. Yeah, we, pretty much waiting for this. Okay. You know, because we could have gone with just saying, do a notice of intent. And that's why I, you know, and I, like, I talked with Mark. When they went through and designed it, they just to cover themselves and not have to worry about piecemeal and stuff. They just call it an intermittent stream. And you, you would do It's unfortunate, same. but it happens a lot with that organization. Right. Uh, because they can get a permit to do a lot because they're highway, right. they so don't they, have they to they be very- the whole thing and- Yeah, they, they don't, um, they typically don't try to d divide is it regulated or not? Just call right. it regulated and move they, on. Yeah, right, they just you assume yeah. it so it makes things easier to design. Right. And but the, only, would, the only question yeah. I did have, and uh, maybe it's a mass DLT, I, I was just concerned with the size of the pipe going underneath. Now, did you? you I didn't look at any hydraulics. I, I noticed it's a 12 inch pipe. Yeah, it's it a seems pretty a little wide small. swale. Yeah. I mean, it is a decent swale. And yeah, I mean, that, that, would, that was my concern. And, and I, I, you know. Well, one of the reasons we use the 12 inch pipe is that's what is consistent with some of the other pipes along that section uh, that are existing out there. Right, but years ago that was not, nowadays sure. Dan knows everything is <coughs> enlarged so Big. much and yeah. Yeah. You know, way over uh, sized. But I'm not saying that, I'm just saying that a 12 inch seems a little small and, mm -hmm. and it is state property and the state has to do, you know, approve it. Correct. So we are, like we mentioned, we are going through the approval from Mass yeah. DOT for the curb cut. Um, their response to us in their initial review of it was to file with the Conservation Commission and get approval for it first, and then they would take an under advisement. Do you anticipate comments about the <clears throat> the culvert? Because they, they had no co no comments about the culvert. Because that's size. technically their property, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Because that's what I thought they maintain that. Yeah. Slide. Correct. That is their property. Yeah, the only other thing I saw was that little, on the other side of the fence, where the cattails were in that drainage area, that would have to be uh, just protected, you know, or erosion Yes, control. yeah, right, the one that's just north just, of this area. No, oh. no, uh, the one right in, in the other side of the fence from the highway. There's a drainage swale there, and there's cattails there. It just, we it, can put up know, a You're not gonna do anything. Yeah. Right. But we did want, you know, I would want some uh, erosion control around that area. Sure. By, they're going to be on the downstream it. side. There's no reason yeah, to put on the upstream street. side. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. In, in on their property, on the other side of the fence. Gotcha. Yep. To protect the, the essentially the storm drain swale. Right. Yeah. And uh, and probably you know probably <coughs> downstream of the whole swale too. Mm -hmm. You know, just while the, the construction's going on. Yeah. So, you know just. Louis, just to refresh my memory, the 12 inch pipe you're talking about is what would be under the driveway? Correct. So, I mean, is there any, is there any reason why it couldn't just be enlarged? I mean, it we seems could, to me We could put that, an 18 inch, 15 or an 18 inch pipe yeah, in there. I mean, uh, you can't go much more than that because of the height. Yeah. And you won't have cover over the pipe for trucks going over it. Yep. Um, yeah, it just... For, 
say, you know, anticipating larger might be more acceptable and it would certainly increase the ability of water to flow between both sides and sure. uh, yeah, just keep everybody happy that way too because I, think. I think you know it's people you know seeing that and it is a swale and mm -hmm. we could do looking at the grades and topography we could put an 18 inch pipe in there mm -hmm. if that was a condition part of the condition of approval yeah I'd be uh, I'd be happy with that. Yeah, yeah. I think so as well, um, uh, uh, along with the condition of, of the protecting you, the upstream. Yeah. And, you, know, you don't want to be backing up any water. If we did get the Irene come through, you don't want to be right. the cause of it backing up and creating other issues because it's going gonna, it's gonna to take out the driveway. Yeah. If you force that water to back up, if the hydraulic head is just going to tear it up. So you want to get that flow through there. Right. Yeah, I think so, the 18's 18 is a good, good, good one. Yeah, I think that would, you know. Because that, that kind of matches the, the bottom of the swale. Because yeah. that's about the width of, the, of right. what they call the invert of that swale. It's mm -hmm. about 18 inches. Yeah. And a lot of those pipes are from a long time ago. When, yeah. yeah. Uh, this was a relatively dry year in my estimation. The year before, there was a lot more water everywhere along Route 5. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And years ago, that's all, you know, 12 inch was the standard. Yeah, that was standard pipe. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So uh, make a, I would say uh, I'd make a motion to let's see sign off on okay. So that would be, uh, Dan, that would be more a number four, wouldn't it? I think it? so, yeah. Because yeah. number one is just they're talking about the buffer. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, yeah well, and the other one is the buffer and the whole area subject to protection under the Act. Okay. The work described in the request is not within an area subject to protection under the Act, including the buffer, so that would be... Correct, mm -hmm. right. If you don't have the resource, then you don't have the... Oh, well... Their work is going to be outside of the buffer to the, the wetland I was referring to earlier that does have a lot of cattails and it's north. Right. There's a little, little crossing there. Mm. This crossing is more than 100 feet away from that, so it wouldn't be within that buffer zone. And it's definitely not in any resource area. Right. So four sounds right. Okay. I make a motion to uh, approve a negative determination number four. With the, with well, yeah, yeah with the with the note that an 18-inch pipe will be installed, or unless yes. Mass deal, you know, DOT wants something larger, right. and uh, and the, there is a erosion control uh, around the on your property around that little swale that's near the fence, and. The whole swale itself when you're backfilling in stuff or filling in. Yes. And okay, a second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We will revise the plan, and now they have your email. I will okay. email you the revised plan for your records. Okay. So you have it in your file. Okay. Can you and send I'll, a hard and copy just, to the town uh, so put it in the file? Yeah, and I'll mail a hard copy to the to the town also. So you can put it in the file for you. Yeah. yeah. Right. Priscilla, there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and give a copy to Mark Stenson yeah. so he yeah. has it by email. Let's see. <clears throat> Yeah, and what I'll do is I'll I'll just draw on this yes. plan I do have, just erosion control. Mm -hmm. You know, however you want to use silt fence or the, you know the sock or whatever, mm -hmm. just the temporary there and right. when you're doing the work. So okay, yeah, you can note 18 inch pipe instead of the 12 inch yep. on your plan. Yeah, I'll, 
I think we'll do that. Good. Yeah, I've noted it already. And I'll put it on here too. Okay. Yeah, okay. For <coughs> And we have this two for the file, so I'll work. Okay, gentlemen. Okay. Great. Thank, Thank you very much. Very much. Thanks for your time. Yep. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's see. Other old business. We'll just do it. Anybody go by Dumont or? I saw your photographs. Yeah, I, I, I got them from uh, Tony Wysecki. From, uh, he sent email them to me. He says, you know, this stuff's not really growing that one spot. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, you know, it's it's up to uh, to us. He says we can wait or just, you know, it's not a big deal. It's flat. So I, I walked by Did you? And, yeah. and saw the photo, and the photos made sense, you know. Yeah. Uh, but, they have, um, but they put in the tree and, mm -hmm. and the, you know, they got all that sod in there. Yeah. And this other area is, is, uh, it's almost outside. Uh, let's see, I was looking at it. I think most of it. There's a picture showing this here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And they got that new sod all the way down here. They, yeah, yeah. But wasn't that also part of the, of the plan? For erosion control to do the the new side there as well, or no? No, no. I mean, they were going to plant, but they 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 were going to put an ex, uh, expand the building. Yes. And so, but they went and did this all this sod work, and that's you know mm -hmm. uh, you know before when we first looked. Yep. They didn't have that done. They right. just had grass growing yeah. and yeah. Yeah. Was, whatever was, was like, coming yeah, up. Wild, yeah. yeah. And we had the erosion and. Uh, one of the trees was uh, damaged. Yeah, dead. yeah, dried out. So what they ended up doing is, I think they're probably holding off on this. Mm -hmm. So they put all the sod in here, and they just this side here isn't. But did you say anything and else? That no, and and that's our end game, right? I mean, this side is our is our concern. No, this is, side. This is what we were concerned in this whole yeah. area here. Yeah, so say so here's the buffer. Yeah. Or two hundred foot river front. Yep. And here's the hundred foot buffer. See everything's over here. Here's everything this is the yeah. buffer and this is it. So basically it's just this area in mm -hmm. here. And we just had them put those in for Yeah. For hey, Dana. Hi. Oh, great. Yeah, Priscilla told me yeah. that this morning. Yeah. Yeah. So it sounds good. Okay. Good. All right. Thank good. you. Right, so. Yeah, I mean, I, did, I guess what I, because, I mean, the photo, though, is. Is, is this here, is this, this here, yeah. and here. So, I mean, it's flat, it's just, you know, you're not going to really get any erosion or stuff, but. Mm -hmm. It's up to you guys if you want to. So this is where that uh, depression is. Where yeah, the water, yes. yeah, retention pond, yeah, yeah right yes. here. And, the, you know, the trees were right here. Mm -hmm. And that erosion, that little piece of erosion was right there. Right in there, yeah. yeah. So they, they put the trees in. Not much is going to grow now. No, no, it's not going to grow at yeah. all. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, so either we... I mean, we can wait till you know, spring or it's spring or you know, it's not a big deal. They just thought he'd get it off the books, and if we wanted to get it mm -hmm. signed off on and stuff, but uh, if I mean, you feel I, better I, waiting until spring and just taking a look at it after they, you know, they might have to reseed something here. Mm -hmm. I I would feel better about that to wait to see what it looks like at the end of yeah. Well, that's all right. I mean, it's, it's no, not going to harm their operation in no, any way. So. No, he just, so, you know, he just said, you know, it's up to us. And can I make a motion that that we're going to continue it to our next meeting? Can we not continue, continue it till springtime. Spring. I mean, till springtime. Yeah, wait. Yeah, we'll continue it till we get notified again from the uh, 
consultant that it's uh, ready to be signed off on. Okay. You know, but we'll wait till you know there's uh, growth, new growth. Okay. All right. So we're going to continue uh, this uh, American way. Yeah, uh, we'll we'll, uh, we'll until we're going to yeah growth. we're going to continue it until spring. All right. At some point. All right. I will second that. Continue to spring. Okay. All in favor? favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Greenfield Road, that's that one. And let's see, we have Eversource. You could come up, Robin, state your name and who you work for and or represent. I'm Robin Cassiopo. I work with uh, GZA. And I'm here on behalf of Eversource. So the project that they have going on right now is for the line 312 transmission line um, that runs from Hinsdale to Northfield. And it's a structure replacement project, so they're going through and replacing a lot of the old wooden H-frame poles that are now degraded and full of woodpecker holes and cracks um, with steel metal H-frame poles. So it's, if it's a three-pole structure, it's being replaced with a three-pole structure. If it's a two-pole H-frame, it's being replaced with a two-pole H-frame. Um, in Deerfield, there are 24 structures that they've identified for 2019 and 2020 to be replaced. Um, and two of those have some work in buffer zone. And so that's what I'm here for today. Okay. Have some pictures. Where yeah, you? if you could uh, probably just go over. Mm -hmm. And you said two will impact. Two. two. Yes. Yep. So we sent a plan set. We can go over the first one. Um, Let's see if we got the. Is there? Are they numbered, or you just gotta? The structures are numbered, but the first we can go over is um, <coughs> on page twenty-nine. Down at the bottom, it says page 29 of 37. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I have this. So one. it's a fuller set. Oh, yeah, or... nope, that's the index sheet on the front. So we won't be using that one. Okay. So structure yeah, uh, 29... 36105. You can talk about that one first. Okay. So this one is oh, off. 05, did you say? 105. Okay, yeah. that's the one we got on. That's the one and we that one we at? did not visit. Oh, that one we didn't? Nope. That's oh. off Old Albany Road. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, up by Cocktail. Mm -hmm. Yep. So for this structure, you can kind of see in the, the, at the rectangle around the red dot. The red dot is um, where the structure, existing structure is located. You can see just above that where the shadow is and the structure on the aerial. So that's the H frame right there. Yep. Um, and the way that it is, the north side of that pad, which is in the red square, the terrain up there, um, topography is, it's just ledge in that northern portion. So right now, the H frame, the way it is, the elevation, the poles are different heights and the elevation of the bases are different because of that ledge. So Eversource would like to hammer out that area, grade that ledge down to get the H frame to have two poles that are the same height. And so that portion there in the buffer is grading and gravel. And then the lower portion closest to the wetland is um, graded. They're proposing grading and matting. But the upper part, it's to get that pad, to get a level pad to do the work safely, it's critical that they hammer out and bring that grade down. Okay. And that's in an area that's it's within ledge. the buffer? But it's, it's, it's within the buffer, okay. but it's, it's ledge right now. And yeah. So you're not, you know, you're, you're not filling in anything. You're just taking It's not filling, out. yeah. It's removing, it's just bringing the elevation down, and getting rock, rid of, yeah. of that rock, yeah. And do you have a description of how big, a, big an area they're going to hammer out? I believe in here we do. Is that that 
the grading and placement of gravel will be approximately uh, 4,300 square feet. I guess what my question was, and it's, you know, um, more for information. Um, okay, so if, if how much of that ledge is, constitutes part of that 4,000 square feet, so if they're going to basically eradicate the whole ledge, you know, um, that's what I'm asking. You know, if it's a 100 by 100 foot that they're going to go in and just, or if it's a tiny portion, you know, that's what I'm trying to discover. Yeah, that for the portion that will be hammered and graveled, it's it's that red rectangle right there. I believe that's the 4,300 square feet, so that, that area. Okay. And then the matted area below is another 4,000. Mm -hmm. um, so that 4,300 up above, that area will be graded and gravel. And from a standpoint of, of just for my, if we're looking at this map, is it because old, old Albany? goes this way are we looking to the right like this and this is the orchard no let's see where's the oh north this is okay so. yeah so if you're holding it in front of you north is up so this is north, north is kind okay. of up to the this right is north old albany is to the right so you're accessing yeah. from old albany old Al which is to the right yeah old albany is up this way mm -hmm. okay There's the red dot right there. Mm -hmm. And all the Albany goes up. Okay. And is this the, um, what is this line? That's the existing, uh, that would be the existing right away road. The gray uh, dashed. The, yep, that's existing yeah. gravel. The gravel. So existing okay. new imported gravel. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And all ENS controls will be put in place prior to any grading. Um, and then mats, grading, where you see the grading and matting, that's in the buffer there. And then once you're ready, I can get into the administrative consent order, but we can. Yeah, let's look at the, the, the go over yeah. the other one. Sure, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have any other questions on this one before we? No? Not no. right now. Okay. The second one is structure 36097, and that's right off Lower Road. And for this and area. That helps before you get up the hill to yeah. Greenfield. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't, I wasn't sure how far yep. it was, but I just rolled down the road and her rolled yep. up the road. Mm -hmm. Yep. So for this area, there is no um, gravel proposed. It'll be graded and matted. So, and it's really just some minor grading in there just to get a level work pad. Um, because it's right next to Lower Road, some of the Eversource engineers went out um, because there is an embankment for the road and there was a concern of if they dug in there to try to make this work pad you know, with the integrity of that slope. And they looked at it and said they don't have to touch that slope at all. So they can put the, the pads right up to the toe of the slope and so that they don't have to go into it. And if they have to bench them in a little bit at the bottom, they'll restore it to the pre-construction conditions. Okay, they'll be coming in from the field, right? They will be, yeah, yeah. yep. And the structure 36105 that we just looked at um, is part of the 2019 work, and this is part of 2020, so that's why we don't show a matted road coming in for this yet, because this map set is the 2019 map mm -hmm. set. But they will be accessing from lower road with the mats and then spanning the channel. So there. this is part of 2019 work, meaning that they want to work next month? They do. Oh? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. So can you just point out up to me up here uh, the, oh, sure. the, the stuff that's not visible 
Oh, yeah. 2020 yes. work. Yep. So I think it's on the next. Okay. Yeah. So this would be, so it's the road, the matted road mm -hmm. that comes in here, access from lower road. Right. And then it'll cross over. I'm not sure exactly where. Maybe it'll come up here so that it's more of a straight shot in. Yeah, mm -hmm. they would go. But it'll extend and span. So the footings of the span will be outside of the bank. So nothing is below bank, the bank line. Mm -hmm. um, this makes it look a water. lot larger than what it is. Yeah. 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 So, so, we're, the, sure. so the, yep. they, they cross it and by. They just putting mats across. Those yeah. big, heavy duty yep. mats. Yeah. And then removing them at the end of the construction. And yes, yep. And there will be, this pad will extend, mats will extend into the BBW here. Mm -hmm. So that pad will be larger. And those are the mats um, that are not that are covered in the administrative so, order. So they'll be more like. It'll be about that size. Yep. That there. Yep. And this will be spanned, this channel. So nothing will be placed flat into that. Thank you. Okay. And I think what we need is you explaining the exemptions. Right. So for the maintenance exemption, the replacement of the structures and um, e existing structures is considered exempt under 1002-2A2. Um, but the ancillary work that's needed to replace those structures, like the work pads and the roads, are not exempt. So that's why those come in front of the commission. Um, as far as the uh, not filing an NOI um, for the construction timber mats in wetlands, Eversource has an administrative consent order with MassDEP, and it, after you know, lots and lots of projects of going in front of DEP, they just said, you know, we, we understand mats in a resource area is a best management practice, so instead of you coming forward every time, we're just going to say that these activities are approved as long as X, Y, and Z in the administrative consent order are followed. And so that includes having um, a, a wetland scientist go to the site before the mats are placed, taking photos, doing a wetland assessment, then the mats can be placed, and then once the mats are removed, um, 90 days following that removal, a wetland that same wetland scientist goes out to that location, does another assessment, looks at the vegetation to see if it's coming back, um, and just the overall condition of the wetland. And if it looks to be in good shape, then that's great. If not, then they will you know, suggest some things that need to be done. And all of this is um, recorded and reported and, and sent to MassDEP, so they get a record of it with photos, and they, it, they actually have a, a table that they send. It's a, a special form. And so it's all the, any time that mats are, we keep track of when the mats are put down, when they're picked up, and all of that is reported to DEP. Mm -hmm. So the 2019 work, presumably those mats would go down. Are there mats there? They're on the lower portion? Um, not for, not here, not, no, not here not yet. The there field. are mats in the field yeah. for other non-jurisdictional areas, yeah. Okay. So the work is going on right now All right. in other towns and areas where permits aren't needed. Mm -hmm. and I did talk to Mark Stenson mm. and he says, yeah, you know, there is that exemption. Yep. And they do have a yep. consent order with DEP. And DEP would be the monitoring agency uh, if they were. Yes. So yeah. the final, yeah. The fi guess, yeah. yeah. But yep. yeah, because, and for us, it, it, it just, and because, you know, we can't, you know, it'd be an NOI notice of intent and yep. for every single little oh, work yeah. they do. Yeah. And that's yeah. why they, they they come to that agreement, I guess. Mm -hmm. and right. So, and and I, asked, I asked Mark saying, about yeah. it because I'm looking. I says, I said I was going to ask him until I finished reading. I said, never usually go much further than a negative number three. Yeah. And yeah. I turned the page and there's a five, and I said, oh, there. That's I guess what I want. Mm -hmm. You know, because it there it is work in the area. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is subject, but it doesn't require a notice of intent according to, you know, right. mm-hmm. yeah. the exemption there. Right. And it sounds like from what you're doing, you said, you, you know, we have to find out exactly what your complete intent is. And mm-hmm. you are, when you said you were going to dig out an area, I didn't realize it was, you know, rock. I don't mm-hmm. remember, you know. Oh, yeah, yep. And so that really doesn't affect the wetlands at all because, uh, so. So th- there's only that one exemption, right? It's yeah. just that one, yep. That, uh, let's see. Well, for the one exemption, um, the maintenance exemption, and then there's, within the ACO, there are um, a number of um, activities that can be done, but this one is the construction mats within the wetlands. And that does not include grading in wetlands. So that's flat matting, no grading in wetlands. Okay, so so basically the, uh, as stated under the 310 CMR 10.02, is that what? Mm Mm-hmm, yep. Oh, two, and then what's the two in? And then 2A2. Two 2A2, two. Two what's that, is that, that's? The, and that's what's local. quoted here. Yep, so it's the activities conducted to maintain, repair, or replace, but not substantially change or enlarge an existing or a lawfully located structure or facility. To Louis's question, he's asking what the, in parentheses, the two, it's A2, two. Sub, so subset, Paragraph. Paragraph, right. Uh, so, so that's that uh, highlighted um, quote, t- quoted material? That's, that's straight from that, that. Yep. yep. Okay, yeah, so this and this are the same. Yeah. And this is the material w- that that is from. Okay, so. And then you can see the paragraph below that, it's saying, um, the improvement or expansion of work pads and roads would name? change or enlarge oh, the, right the facilities, and that's why the RDA is being submitted, because the work pads and roads are not included in that exemption. Oh. So. Just the structure, like the pole replacement themselves. Yeah. And it's considered the pole and 15 feet around it, like a 15-foot diameter around the pole, is considered um, part of the structure. So. There's some space with the new pole location within those 15 feet in the administrative consent order. Once you go outside of that, now you're technically outside of that existing Exemption. facility or structure. Yeah. 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 Okay. So what, what that portion is saying is that currently these H frame, is it H frame? Is that what they're called? Yeah. H, yep. Yep. Um, their pads are smaller than what's going to be there when this work is finished. Right, yeah. And substantially larger? I mean, these will be substantially larger, or I'm just trying to, you know, understand. Um, the work, well, the work pad around the, around the pole is, uh, I mean, right now there's, I don't believe there is a pad. Mm-hmm. For a lot of these, um, they were right in the soil. it was right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're yeah, 70, so. some are 90 years old, and it's, right. it's, I'd love to see how they got them in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's, you know, right into the ledge, or, or there really is no existing pad. So, that's a part of the reason why Eversource wants to do this and have as many permanent gravel level pads as possible is so that they can get in, do maintenance. Mm-hmm. If there's an emergency, they have that there. They don't have to bring all the mats in every time. Right. Um, so it is certainly substantially larger than what's there because in a lot of them there's nothing mm-hmm. okay. as far as work pads. Okay. So the only reason why, well, I mean, you, just to let us know, but uh, is because of the, setting the mats down in the areas, that's what you're saying before? Okay, so basically, you just you're not changing anything you just right yep and all the shrubs just get pushed down everything gets pushed down and then once they're removed it springs back wonderfully so and in cases where it doesn't then mitigation and restoration is needed yeah. and is that part 
covered under the it ACO is. as well? Yes, yeah, yep. So that doesn't have to be an order of condition right. by us? It's, right, it's reporting it to the DEP and then it's mandatory that, that restoration occurs okay. if you can't meet um, a, either the existing conditions or 70% vegetated. Okay, and who reports to DEP? reports that information to DEP? It's uh, that we would collect that information oh, okay. and we would do all the myself or another wetland scientist at GZA collects all the information we compile it all and then we send it to Eversource and then Eversource sends it to DEP. Okay so you would after the project is complete? Yes yeah okay. yep and then if mitigation was necessary then we would be involved GZA or whoever the the contractor is mm -hmm. um, to go in and continue monitoring throughout and suggest supplemental plantings and you know whatever and was would needed. that be something that would come back before us or would the DEP at that point be that would be that would be just that activity is approved Sorry, through no, no, the yeah, ACO. Yeah, we yeah. yeah. I just so that's not. The yeah. Yeah. No, we've never I mean, we would certainly one. get in touch with you to let you know and, and keep you in the loop. notified. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yep. But it is approved. It's an approved activity under the, yeah. the ACO. So I guess I mean, I'd like to make a motion to accept under a negative number five <coughs> um, with the understanding of the administrative consent order. Um, and that GZA is the uh, ecology firm that does the pre and post assessment. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a long motion. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you can say who has to yeah. do it. Yeah. You, you, I mean, you can't mention. I mean, anything GZA can change at yeah, any yeah. time with. Eversource Absolutely. and their contractors right. because so, of unforeseen circumstances, <clears throat> but, striking but we're, we're hoping we're going <laughs> to GZA, <laughs> but it's really under it's Eversource's mandate. Yes. Oh, okay. It DEP. is. Yeah. It's we there are no okay. contractors involved with the ACO, no, but yes. we do. They. We are the wetland scientists that do all the monitoring. Okay. Right, like now. Yeah. So, right. right now. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. And yeah. it could continue, but like I say, it's just. Yeah between DEP and uh, the and mandate Eversource. with uh, yep. Eversource. Eversource. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So a motion to accept on negative number five, given the... Given, or we got to refer to the uh, exemption yeah. on that one. So it would be that 310 okay. CMR 10.02 2A2. Okay. That's, that's what I think all we have to do is put on that. Because uh, mm -hmm. okay. what it does is there's other utilities that have exemptions. And right. This, this is specific just, to Yeah, this refers yeah. to, I believe, just uh, the, you know, ever, not Eversource. But, but electric utilities, the, yeah. yeah. Power, you know, yeah. power mm -hmm. companies. Power, yeah. Okay. So I'll uh, second it. If anybody is. Yep. All in favor of? Negative number five. Aye. Aye. Thanks for educating us. <laughs> to what we need to know. Thank you for listening. <laughs> and I'm sorry you missed the site walk. <laughs> no. It wasn't we we hung around for about a half hour, but it was yeah, it was yeah. just the one. Next time. Side of the road, yeah. There will be yeah. more, but there are, on, along this line, there are more structures. The, they just do it in phases based on um, the integrity of the poles that are out there. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's, they do it by priority. Yeah. Um, but there are, there are others. So. Okay. Yeah, no, I learned, learned something too. Good. <laughs> on the exemptions here. And yeah. Well, it's important, and you know, we always want to make sure, and Eversource always wants to make sure that the commissions feel comfortable with the work being done and, and the exemptions and the ACO specifically. Yeah. So. Well, it has to be done. I mean, it sounds right. like, uh, you know. Yep. Yeah, one hopes that, uh, you know, these metal structures will have a longer life so that you right. won't be in the resource areas. Right. Less disturbance right. down yeah. the road. Yeah. Hopefully. Yep. Right. Excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
What else we got here? Let's see. Well, I wasn't here, so you guys have to review your minutes. Yeah, let's see. That's all we got at this. See, what else? We did that one and that one. Any other business? Sounds like there's, let me see if I've got it before we do the minutes. There's emergency cert, I guess, coming up here. Or emergency uh, cert. Group 5 Colbert? Yeah. Up by uh, Richardson's Candy Kitchen, I believe that's where it is. I tried calling DEP. I mean, uh, Mass and DOT. That's the one that's that was Plugged replaced, up, always and it was replaced uh, just two winters ago, I believe. No, that's the one south of it. Oh, okay. On the other side, this is that that low spot there. Where yeah, it's always, it always flooding. Fills, yeah. And uh, right, yeah. Is it there a daycare next to it or something? I don't know. Or something, of yeah. yes, yeah. yes, on the corner. Because that, that place is always, the grass yeah, is it's, always... Yeah, it's, it's like Richardson's Candy Kitchen yeah. is right there. Yeah. And then it goes to, and there's what... Okay. That's what I got for email, and I think their emergency cert, certification... For, so this is a state employee, DOT, that's yeah. sending yeah, I guess to us. Area, yeah, okay. Or you're supposed to be filling it out, and I think they want to get going as soon as possible, but I haven't seen, you know, Priscilla, her email wasn't working, so I'm not sure what, if he sent something up to the office or not. So it's just coming down the road, just to let yeah. you know that. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm requesting emergency certificate for cleaning out the Route 5 and 10 culverts between both ends of Wapping Road. Okay. And is that coming from Kevin Scarborough or coming from... Well, he's, I think he's trying to push for it to yeah. it because it floods the road all and right I think we've talked about that at these MVP yeah meetings. yeah it's, it's, it's the so, whole area is, is yeah. needs work and yeah and they're saying so the, the work would help and that's what mm -hmm. yeah, well yeah. I assume it's all filled in because yeah. of the Irene too that right. that whole area yeah so it would prevent roadway closure and detours along the way I mean that that would be really important as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. uh, well safety wise too for yeah. you know, Everybody headed, uh, you know, and people through. heading come coming down Wapping Road. So, so that's you know, that's on the. So, now this didn't make it to our our meeting, no. but we're. I we're just let you yeah, know. I'm okay. just yeah, letting you know that right. there is an emergency cert coming. Mm -hmm. Should be coming here for that. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll see what happens if it really does. So okay, just to you know, keep you informed. Good. And let's see, I think. Does that folder um, live with you or does it live in there? It lives in, in there. All right. Let's see. So, you know, I, I grab it yep. to, to have and then I'll, I'll bring it in tomorrow probably after yep. I just put it together a little bit and finish writing couple things there on the uh, on the map there for that 10 but, yep. okay minutes I guess we gotta review the minutes this is a here's one for you uh Should be letting you just look at it so you know what. Yeah, yeah. I already re read yeah, it. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, yeah I read it. But um, the, I'd like to make a motion to accept the minutes as written. I don't see any any changes that need to be made. I'll second that. I don't, I don't yeah, know. I think it was just I and I, just the two of us that were yeah uh, present. That were present. Yeah. So we'll accept the minutes.
and things are quieting down a little. Well, hopefully, it stays that way. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Then, I to set a date for the next meeting. I got January second because it, the other one would be right after day after Christmas. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or I think it's the uh, I'm just sure my calendar. So that still gives us, that's if we even have one. Yeah, to yeah we may not need it. This month, you know, this coming month. Yeah, so um, January 2nd works for me. Okay. Yeah, at the moment I don't see why I wouldn't be able to attend. And so Do one. you guys know anybody still for, we got to. I think that there's been an applicant um, who actually is a, an ecologist, uh, he's just, you know, probably got professional experience. Yeah. Who's, I mean, he might have been recently retired, but I don't know the name. Oh. Um, but I, I know that an application was put into the select board, and oh, okay. I think they had a, they had another person who, when they did consider, so no, I, I might be confusing issues, but I know that that was what yeah, I just. I was going to talk with Diana. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. And mention, you know, because. For Matt, because I talked to Matt, and mm -hmm. he just he he can't come down. He says he's up, you know, yeah, his work and stuff. Yeah, no, I, I and I think that would be good because this, from what little I heard, it was somebody who's actually worked professionally in uh, conservation and yeah, eco ecological field. Okay, so I think that was, and there's no mail. Let me so just now. double check. I didn't see any mail. Things are. We already looked at that one. That's a, Of course, that's already gone by. And MACC uh, yes. MACC has provided the email of the annual meeting that'll come up at the end of February. Mm -hmm. um, that Tim and I attended last year. I I think that it's worthwhile. To consider been that long ago? Yeah, the, the, I mean, really? shortly after we got on the, because we got sworn in, and I think oh, well, that's right, yeah, late December, or January, I yeah. forget. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, about to put our first year behind us. Uh, I would like to attend that annual meeting again. I felt like I learned a lot and had the opportunity to talk with Mark Stenson for yeah, it was a good. little bit, and yeah. uh, certainly. Mm -hmm. um, Okay. Something to consider. You know, we have to put in our applications, I guess. Um, but did you get the email? I did. Yeah, I, 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 I'll have to go back and check. I think I put it into my Conservation Commission mailbox. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't mind forwarding it yeah. to, uh, yeah, the, the, to, the the, to the group. Yeah. Um, conservation agenda, agenda items. I think there was one. One other thing I just remembered. September, okay, this is just our end of the month report, mm -hmm. which hasn't changed as far as I know. Mm. No, so I'll just say the end of the month report for October was Reviewed and approved. Okay. Open meeting laws, you looked mm -hmm. at that, so. Yeah. 
Okay, and I guess we make a motion to uh, adjourn at and 8 o'clock. And I'll second that motion to adjourn at 8 o'clock. All in favor? Aye. 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 We're all set.